morning Masaka universe. I guess it's time to go back to the club season. Uh, honestly, to me the club season seems like regular. Yes, it's more exciting soccer and so on and maybe there's more at stake but I, I'm probably one of the few that really enjoy the international break. I just love national teams. I really do. But yeah, um, you probably have seen now the two jerseys that I showed you uh, already uh, from my collection, two newish ones. Um, and let's go back to the off-season. I think the big headlines from the weekend are, of course, uh, from the week are Ronaldo's injury, which is still not quite clear. I mean, he injured himself, I think it was Monday. Uh, it's still not quite clear um, whether he will be able to play against Ajax, which is April 10th, so there's some time. Muscular injuries usually take longer. I don't pay too much attention to Ronaldo saying he knows his body well. Um, players want to play. Players want to play and they will always do everything to play. Um, and it's down to the club. Um, I know that there are many people saying that Juventus should win against Ajax even without Ronaldo, which probably is true if you look at the quality of the squad. On the other side, to be, uh, it would be selling Ajax short, especially the season so far. This is a team that can be extremely dangerous and I always have the feeling that if Juventus plays too careful, and unfortunately they're prone to do that. I think they would have a spectacular squad for an offensive coach, to be honest. I think this could be a really fun team to watch. Um, but they don't play like that. I mean, Allegri is in a way a typical Italian manager, but he, uh, he is flexible also. But we'll see. If Juventus can play well, uh, if Juventus can play well, they will um, be able to beat Ajax. However, I've seen too little of Juventus playing well, so that I think especially the game in Amsterdam uh, is not a gimme in any stretch of the imagination. I can actually see Ajax getting a result there, uh, which they almost did against Real Madrid. Yes, Real Madrid is not the Real Madrid uh, from, from too long ago, from a year ago, but maybe they are becoming now again. Who knows? But when they were played Ajax, it was maybe not. Still, I don't think it's a walkover as everyone portrays it. Uh, and I do understand that most people uh, would have said Porto and Ajax are teams that you want to play. Just given that the other teams in the competition are from the big leagues. But I think both of these teams can be super dangerous on their day. And, um, I have proven so over and over again. They are not small names. I mean, we're talking about a four-time champion and a two-time champion. And then the other big news that came out yesterday is that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got his contract for, I think, another two seasons added on. And while it's probably good to end all this speculation drama, I'm not sure if it's the right decision to do this right now. I think there was not necessary need for that. Um, or did they feel that he might be snatched up by someone else? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, did Solskjaer improve Manchester United? No doubt about it. I think Manchester United is a happier team. And a happier team is usually a good team, but I find it uh, curious that this contract extension comes right at the point where United actually was about to hit their rough patch. I mean, it was the last two results going out of the FA Cup, losing at Arsenal. Um, didn't seem, you know, it's, things seem to go a little bit um, wayward, and I'm not sure if. Uh, you needed to extend the coach now. I really would have let him see out the season. And you know, the other thing is, to me, it is nothing as shoulder. I think he's done an outstanding job uh, when he was called in. That's, I just, a little bit more. I don't think that United is overall playing all that different tactically than they were playing before. Uh, but, 
world is happier and that's, that's the major contribution. I also think that now Sosha will have to handle a transfer period and uh, break in a squad. Uh, you know, make, put his own stamp on a team. Maybe the two years are not bad for that, to give him two years. Um, but that's a big unknown. That's a big unknown to me. And given all the transfer talks as of late, uh, that you know, Pogba might be out, Rashford might be out. Um, it's not going to be an easy task. That much is certain. Um, I'm personally happy for Solskjaer. I don't understand it necessarily from the club side, but you know, Manchester United has been. Uh, lately not making the best personnel decisions, I gotta say. I think Manchester United is becoming one of those teams that, um, where it's more important the bottom line than the success on the field. Um, and I think you gotta be actually careful that you're not losing a little bit of your bottom line that way. Because ultimately success is what gets you there. Yes, Manchester United is maybe one of those teams that just have a certain cloud to, to them that they will always have enough supporters and yeah, that usually doesn't make for good uh, club leadership. Let's wait and see how it goes. I'm still, uh, I'm still unde undecided who is gonna win a championship sooner. Will it be Ferrari in Formula 1 or will it be Manchester United in the Premier League? Um, I almost want to say my money would be on, uh, on Manchester United. They have the chance, but it's uh, tough, 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 tough. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on the two big topics, Ronaldo and Ole Gunnar Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Um, it's all wait and see, basically. I think it's big news overall. Um, but yeah, I... I think if I was the coach of Juventus, I would keep Ronaldo on the bench, um, not even in the team, until the return leg against Ajax. Maybe break him in in a Serie A game before, and just see how he is doing. And yeah, Solskjaer, happy for him, he got his dream job. He is very well respected by the fans and uh, by the support base, so that's a plus for him. Uh, but now he has to follow up. Let's see. Um, to be honest, I've, I personally would like to see Solskjaer succeed. I really would like to see him succeed because uh, despite me not being the biggest Manchester United fan, he for sure is one of those uh, players that you just have sympathy for. But that's that. Well, let me know what you think about these topics. Uh, games to look forward to. I know there are two that are kind of on my radar. That is of course Liverpool against Tottenham and that is Inter Lazio. Or Lazio in, I will be Inter Lazio. So uh, those are two matchups that loom a little bit larger. as also the Barcelona derby but there hasn't been much of a derby as of late. And yeah, I think as far as I know those are the big games uh, during this uh, first weekend back, we just have to, it's probably not that bad, we have to slowly find the footing. The Liverpool Spurs matchup is probably the, the one that could have the biggest implications, especially since City will have again a game before Liverpool, so gotta see how that goes. Let me know your thoughts on anything of that, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, I know it's dark, or you can see me because of the sun, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon, bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.